I'm Skylar. If you've just gotten a new iPod and you're looking at music, uh, which I'll show you right here, and you see there's no genius down at the bottom, it can be kind of confusing because you'd think that genius would be active by default, but it's not. Uh, even if you go to more, it's not there. So the trick is you have to plug it into your computer because Genius depends on an iTunes library and it has to actually analyze your iTunes library and then send that information to Apple's big you know, supercomputers or whatever actually runs Genius so that it can make correlations between all of your content. So plug your iPod into iTunes and then click on the tab that says Advanced and Turn on Genius and that will analyze your whole library and then make Genius available on your iPod. That's how you do it. The other way to do it is actually under settings and if you go to um, music, iTunes match. So if you turn iTunes match on and you're already subscribed to iTunes match, you just sign in with your account, which is your Apple ID. And since iTunes match has already been uploaded, it's already been analyzed, it makes Genius available for your entire music collection, which is a really sweet way of doing it. it costs you like two bucks a month and it allows you to make mixes on the fly that suit your taste at any particular moment without actually having to go through the process of syncing everything from your computer every time. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.